Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and this is going to be my, sorry I keep, this thing is really long, it's a lot longer, I mean look at this thing, it's a lot longer than I'm used to, because usually I won't have to worry about bumps, bumping it by accident with my hand, but, anyway, uh, question, for those of you saying that I should do the ERB reactions, which one do you want me to start with? Do you want me to start from season one and work my way up? Because if so, I'll do that. But I do need to know. And um, I'm going to do one just to start off with and see what happens, you know, copyright wise. And if it gives me a strike, then I'll do them. But they are going up on like BitChute. And I will put, you know, the link to the reaction in the description of a YouTube video. And the video itself will be who I think won, you know, and why, you know, what I think of the bars and everything. So, yeah, if you want me to start from season one, let me know. You know what I don't like when it comes to people doing reactions for, like, anime or any kind of show that has an episodic forma formula? When people don't even start from episode one, like, they start in the middle of the show. For example, like they start in like a season three, episode two or something like that. Start at the beginning or else you're going to be confused as heck as to what's going on. And I know I probably shouldn't bring him up, but um, Dean comes to mind with this because he's the only person that I know of that does this. Because he's doing One Piece at the moment and he's in like episode 150 something or something like that. And I'm like, why are you doing that? You're not going to know what's going on. You don't know. You don't know. You have not grown attached to the characters. And it's confusing to people who want to watch One Piece reactions, but they don't have episode. You don't have episode one. That's why I always start at episode one when I'm starting a new show. Because if I don't, I'm going to be majorly confused as to what's going on. And that includes any kind of show, anime or not. Like if I was to do, uh. Shoot. Any show, essentially. You're going to be confused as to what's going on if you don't start at the first episode. So yeah, anyway, this is going to be my review for Attack on Titan Season 2, Episode 11. Then the finale, and then we will be getting into Season 3, everybody. Cannot wait. Because as soon as my nephew gets home, which should be soon. Yeah, it should be like in like at least 10 minutes or so, because he gets on the bus soon. I am hopefully going to be able to record for season four. I hope. As long as the two boys behave and they're in their room. That's the only way that's going to work. <clears throat> Excuse me. I would do it tomorrow, but I have to work tomorrow. I actually have to be at work at nine in the morning and at 1030 on Sunday. So... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do anything in the morning for those. Okay. Hang on. Anyway, uh, let's see. My hero... Uh, no, 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 no. Sorry, I'm um, thinking of... <laughs> Oops. Oh my god, I cannot talk today. Sheesh. Sorry, I was getting a message from someone saying that they were having a hard time finding motivation to write for My Hero Academia, and I told them we could always do something else, and I asked them if they knew Black Clover or Attack on Titan. So I'm waiting to hear back from them. Dang it. I just noticed I don't even have the light on. There we go. Anyway, uh, episode 11. The, uh, the scouts end up catching up, and Mikasa is obviously pissed. And I apologize so much on the volume on my mic, but like I said in the last episode, that was before I was able to figure out what was going on and before I had gotten my new mic. So that's why it sounds like it does. So I don't know which point I fixed this in. I know it was before I finished Attack on Titan, I just don't remember... Uh, 
it might have been during season three. I'm not sure. I'd have to go back and look at some of the videos. But I apologize for the volume being so low. But yeah, um, Erevin's earned even more badass points from me and even more respect for me because during this episode, he not only draws Titans towards uh, Rhyna and Bertolt, risking them getting caught and eaten in the process. But when he tells everybody to go after and defend them because they don't, and then Aaron risks getting himself eaten because all the titans are around him. Even then, when he's charging in with the others, he gets grabbed by another titan by the arm. And I think we just lost him, essentially. But no, even when he's being dragged away, he still tells them to advance. And the funny thing is, I said that if he manages to survive this, he will be even more of a badass to me than he already is. And he already is. Even more, even just so much of a badass. It sucks what happens in, it sucks what happens in season three. When that particular moment happens, you guys will see me crying. A lot. To the point where I don't say anything, because if I do, I every time when I cry like that, I feel like if I talk... It just gets worse. So that's why I didn't really talk much during that point. Anyway, um, no, I'm not talking about when everything gets grabbed. I'm talking about season three. And for those of you who have seen all of Attack on Titan, you guys know what I'm talking about. Don't spoil what it is because I've already seen it. And don't spoil it for those who have not seen it. Because obviously I haven't gotten to that point when it comes to editing yet. Anyway, uh, obviously Mikas is very pissed, and she's not above going through with a threat to kill Emir because she's getting in the way. And it took Historia telling Emir, back off, she means what she's saying. And at this point, uh, Emir is trying to help fight off the Titans, and Rhina has to move his arms in order to be even, even def get off the Titans off of him, because if he does, it's going to get worse and they could get eaten in the process. And once that opening shows up, Mikasa charges in, not even caring if she gets hurt in the process, which she does get grabbed. Thankfully, Jean was able to free her, but she did get injured in the process. I don't know how badly injured, but she did get injured. And uh, Armin uh, decides to be a savage and uh, messes with Bertolt's head by telling him how Annie is being tortured and everything, and is kept alive, even though, you know, just to survive even more torture, and this gets to Bertolt, because he's got a thing for her, and, uh, this gives Mikasa the opportunity to get, uh, Aaron free, and at first, I thought that Bertolt had gotten killed in the process. Oh no, he's alive, he just, uh, regenerates, obviously. And, um... Yeah, uh, things will get interesting that at first I had no clue what was going on in the next episode. But now that I've seen, uh, season three, I knew exactly what had happened, even though the point that I had seen versus what we see now is kind of inconsistent with the appearance. Because <coughs> Mikasa sets him down and, um... Guess who decides to pop up? The same titan that ate their mother. Oh dear. That's gonna be interesting. Anyway. Uh, I gotta edit the episode so it'll be a bit before I can get it uploaded. So, um. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this. So I, like I said, I apologize for the volume issues with my mic on... Up until I get to the heads, get my new headset, because like I said, I don't know which episode it was I got it at. It might have been when I finished season three, part one. I'm not sure. If so, then I really apologize for the volume issues. During all that, I really do, and I don't think I ever finished uh, fixed it. Yeah, I think my think I think my uh, headset was just dying. I guess you could say, when it comes to the mic, because the speakers were fine. It was this that was the problem. For the other headset, in mind if you just pulled up on the bus, I just heard it pull up. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.